Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a house tour. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so, what I'm going to do today is that I'm just going to walk around the house. I'm going to give you a proper house tour. And on top of that, we're just going to go through certain um, items as I come along them, you know what I mean? Uh, and we're gonna just uh, discuss the prices and and just how things work out here and all that good stuff. Now, look at this. Look at the timing on this. As soon as, this is my balcony by the way. If you haven't seen it from before, but right now it's crazy, crazy, crazy windy. It's about to storm. And uh, I guess it's kind of like perfect timing because you'll be able to get to see even some of the weather. Because I wanted to take you out to the backyard, but all right, let's get inside before I get too wet. That's what she said. All right, so let me see. Let's get some lights up in here. So this is my upstairs bedroom. Now, my upstairs bedroom, here, let me see if I can close this over here. So, by the way, so these are the doors. Okay, by the way, so I I'm giving you the, the house tour of my house. Because, again, you know, there's houses and um, you know there's apartments and there's all kinds of things that are modern just like you have back home but they're located in the northern part of the city they're located in other areas and they cost more depending on where you want to live and how you want to live but if you want to come out here and you want to experience this you feel me by the way it's mid it's uh mid june right now and this is the beginning of the rainy season it's been raining like this for about a week now maybe less and um it's really really awesome and beautiful let me close it off here so you guys can hear me a little better but yeah so during the june months of uh living out here in merida you know june july and august around there um i i i, I remember from just living here and again it repeats it's a rainy season so what does that mean well it means that it's not it's not that hot because you know when the sun is out it's only out until mid-afternoon and then around mid-afternoon it just starts raining really hard and that's you know that's about it it cools everything down uh, about an hour later or less depending on the rain you know it seems like we're getting heavy rains the first few rains but you know it just usually dies down and then that's it it, it's, it cools off everything and it's nice and livable out here it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing so um, unlike other places where it might rain and it makes the place you know hotter more humid but not here so last month was may and it was the hottest month okay that we've not the hottest month but the hottest month of the year you know meaning that there's absolutely no rain and just sun 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 and like i, I would always hear things you know because i moved out here last june and i was always hearing things about may but it wasn't until i actually experienced may that i was like holy crap there's another level of hot but outside of may pretty much it's always awesome out here you know it really is it's a beautiful thing so all right without further ado you know oh by the way uh, yeah it just continue talking about the weather just one last thing so you know again the summer months are not as bad as you know one might think and then you know once the fall comes and winter comes you know even the weather is nice as well you know what i mean i come originally from miami and it's always like a billion degrees hot and humid out there and it sucks but I, and I, but I've lived other places and I've experienced all the seasons. I've seen snow the whole nine. And then uh, again here, it doesn't, you know, obviously it doesn't snow. It's tropical weather. But what I'm saying is that it, the weather does cool down and, and no rain necessary. So it's really awesome. So you're going to kind of get all the seasons out here. It's, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Again, you're not going to see snow, um, but you will see these awesome tropical storms. And again, you know right now you know for the most part a lot of times when it's raining i just like to sit lazily you know and enjoy the rain you know maybe smoke you know have a drink you know what i don't drink but that's for whoever out there um but you know whatever you know and just relax and just take it in for a minute so all right let's get with um the rest of the tour so these are the stairs that i came up from okay now this home is a modified home it seems like this home was built back in the 70s or something like that and or maybe 60s not quite sure i thought this house was built like i don't know 400 years ago but not quite you know there's a lot of properties around here that are this one th there was properties on here 400 500 years ago but eventually they got knocked down and now they built this stuff and there's a lot of homes that are like this okay 
and a lot of people choose to buy these homes in order to renovate them and make them you know just as modern as anything you come you know you have back home and you can afford to do that here for obvious reasons i'm not going to get into but you know again you know cheaper labor cheaper um materials and all this other good stuff and yeah so okay so these are the stairs you know this is the um, the bedroom now you know this is just the things that i have oh, by the way so another thing is when i got this place i um I, I rented a furnished place because uh when i moved out here i didn't have anything so i rented a furnished place so this place is furnished you can get these out here okay so let me just give you a little bit of a tour so just imagine you know all without all this stuff you know there would be all of this space you know i'm just a single guy i don't know you know i don't know where to put all this stuff well i'm not single anymore i got a girlfriend out there but you know what i'm saying i'm just still living that single guy life and so, you know, I just kind of have things all thrown about. But you guys can figure it out. Um, there's a little vanity, you know. Sometimes I come up here when it was getting really, really hot and I would work up here in the cold AC so that my computer wouldn't, you know, mess up. Speaking of which, there's an AC because I get this question asked all the time. There's AC here. Now listen, you know, my girlfriend, she lives with no AC. And she's okay with that. You know what I mean? Because that's how she grew up. There's a lot of Mexicans that grew up like that me per se you know I, I did it you know i grew up with at least having ac now i don't have it pumping all day because as you guys already know i spend most of my day either outside or downstairs but when it comes to sleep i gotta have my ac and you have it you just gotta make sure to ask for it and get it and all that good stuff okay so there are acs available here let me just even look this is with a remote control and everything see Ta -da. all right and when it comes to light bills you know i get this asked a lot again if you just use like um the 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 you know what is it the the um, electricity modestly like i do then you'll probably be spending around 50 bucks a month maybe less maybe less probably a lot less let me see um how much is it yeah i would say yeah 50 bucks a month if you spend a lot you know or more like 25 bucks a month okay it's more like 25 to 50 bucks a month now if you're gonna have this thing cranking all day you're probably gonna be spending 100 150 bucks a month okay so just saying um so okay so we got ac there's the fans so you guys already know i get comments on the fans all the time so you know this is like metal if you touch that fan it's gonna fucking hurt you probably lose a finger or two okay because that shit goes like uh you know like a turbo jet engine and um that's another thing about mexico because in the u.s you can't have this because again just because of the rules and regulations and laws and blah 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 we don't want anyone to get hurt because they get hurt they sue the fan company but the thing is that, you know, if you get hurt here, who the, you know, there's no suing the fan company. You know, you just, you get hurt because you're a fucking moron and that's it. And uh, since people take a little bit more responsibility, then we can have nice things like a fan that could chop your head off if you're not careful. So, but, you know, again, these things aren't for everyone out there. You know, just saying. So... Yeah, okay, so, you know, it's just like my, my little area here. Let's go. Here's the bed. The beds out here are also very different. Now, you, I'm sure, again, you can get anything from the States and Europe out here, okay? But I'm just, you know, strictly Mexican out here. So, you know, as you guys can see, the beds are different. The mattress is different. It's, like, smaller and all this stuff. So things are smaller, you know what I mean? They just are, okay? I don't know if it's all Mexico, but at least in this part of Mexico, they are. Things are smaller. Now, another thing that happens out here, I'm, I'm glad it rained, you know? So not everything's perfect, guys. So look. Here, I'm going to put this here real quick so I can show you guys. You know, open the curtains. By the way, it's nice and cool right now. It feels really nice and cool. So these are the windows. You see the rain is out here. It's closed because of the rain. Now, the thing is that the rain is coming this way. It's coming this direction. So what does that mean? Well, since these windows aren't perfect, I got water on the floor. Hopefully you guys can see that. I think so because of the wide angle lens. But yeah, there's water on the floor there. You feel me? So it's okay. I have a squeegee downstairs, you know what I mean? That all these houses have, or you can just buy. And, and like it's a giant squeegee and you just squeeze the water out. Or you get a mop, whatever, you know? So that's something that you have to deal with living out here. But again, you know, when you're, you know, when the pace of life is so much slower and different, um, something like this is not a big fucking deal. You know what I mean? Like this is my stress for the day as opposed to having uh what is it rush hour traffic stress you follow me so 
That's why this is closed now because of the rain. But again, but again, you know, you have awesome ventilation. You can open here, open here, open there. There's a little space, a little cubby hole. I have had they gave me this desk and this TV that I never use, so I just leave it there. It's like I don't really use anything here. And then there's my laundry shit. Again, I'm just a single guy, please, mom. <laughs> Anyways, um, so by the way, if if the place is dirty, you know I'm gonna ha I gotta have it cleaned. I know it's fucking horrible. It's, it's it's extra dirty because I haven't cleaned it in a while. So this right here is the water heater so what you do is like literally li literally t so today i need to use a water heater why because it's cold since it's since and how, why is the water cold because it's, it's raining outside so i what i do is like i literally like about five minutes before i shower i turn this on and then that's it and it, it warms that's all i need okay and then this is the closet this is where i came out of but um boom okay nice and spacious you know it came with this stuff right there you know there's my empty luggage you know clothes me more clothes over here you know bada bing bada boom empty up there nothing up there but still you know bam and then the bathroom all right now one thing i want to mention one one thing i want to mention about the bathroom do not flush paper down the toilet now you can flush a little bit of paper down the toilet, maybe like one sheet or two sheets, you know, very little depending on where you live and where you are, but for the most part, rule of thumb, don't flush paper down the toilet. Now that's something that I, when I first heard it, I was like, man, I'm never gonna be able to get used to that. But you get used to it like that. It's not a big fucking deal, guys. Really, it's not a big fucking deal. And I'm a big shitter, all right? There, I fucking said it, okay? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Really, it's fine. So. You know, you learn to manage. It's not a big deal, you know? What I personally do, I get like ex like the toilet paper that's extra thick, all right? So that way, you know, I just, I, I can just, you know, use your imagination and then, you know, again, you can flush a little bit down, you know what I mean? Not, a, not nothing like the states. So maybe like one ply or two small, whatever, per flush. I'm sorry I'm talking a lot of shit. I'm sorry it's getting nasty, but I feel like no one's gonna talk about this on any YouTube channel, talking about Mexico stuff. But that's a very important thing. And the thing is, is because literally all the pipes are just smaller. And that's it, you know what I mean? And like I think in a lot of countries it's like that. And like out here, look, I don't wanna get into the whole toilet paper debate, but like, you know, there's a lot of, uh, most countries use like bidets and that's really what we're supposed to use and we're not really supposed to use toilet paper that's but that's another story conspiracy theory shit i don't want to you know we're, we're talking we're giving you a house tour here right? i'm gonna try not to all right this is the bathroom and this is me now we can see each other okay so that's it again this is really dirty guys please bear with me um so yeah this is where i hang my fucking towel that's where i you know keep my stuff I gotta refill this because I just have a bigger bottle and I just refill it. Um, bathroom, again, really dirty. Toilet, again, okay? Shower, extremely dirty. I know, worst time to fucking do a house tour. Deal with it, guys. But this is my, uh, my shower. And that's it. Okay, it's a nice shower. It's not here. Let me see, I'll turn it off for a minute. And that's it. You got a shower. Ta-da. All right, so that's it, guys. I mean, you know, um, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, probably think, oh my God, it's gonna be so fucking horrible um, to like move to another country and all this shit, blah, blah, blah. Again, you know, this is the shit I gotta deal with, you know, just this little water puddle thing. And this is kind of common to a lot of houses, you know? And by the way, um, I remember living it, it, um, not living um, what is it like um, I had I was seeing somebody that lived in a nicer house in another part of town like a nicer more modern house and still this would happen why because you know people are used to leaving their windows open for ventilation and all this other stuff so that's that's why that is now when it comes to speaking of which you know when people there's people out there that say hey you know there's people there's bars around the, on the doors and around the windows of a lot of these neighborhoods oh my god it must be dangerous or these you know the way that these things are like pure metal and really hard to get into and break into it must be dangerous and it's like well no i mean you know this, this when it comes to like all that shit this is all um architecture and shit that goes back for like forever like hundreds and hundreds of years because you know, again, you would have your windows open all the time in order for ventilation. And, you know, you just didn't want any fucking old Momo to fucking walk into your house. So you had bars. 
to keep, you know, animals out. I mean, that's it. There was no such thing as AC and keeping the doors closed, you know? So that's basically it, you know what I mean? That's kind of, then we added glass and we added all this other stuff. But anyway, story for another day. Um, I know we haven't discussed price on anything yet, but let me see. See, the thing is that everything I have here has been donated, you know what I mean? Or is mine. So there's nothing really here I can give you the price on, but maybe downstairs there is, okay? So let's just uh, keep exploring. Hey guys, you know, quick little caveat. Um, I sincerely apologize for all the weird edits, you know? I'm assuming that they're gonna have, I'm gonna have weird edits before I even edit this thing because I've been filming this all afternoon as the storm has been coming through here um, and all that good stuff. So, and I don't even know what I filmed when I didn't film all that stuff, but hey, um, it's all stuff that I filmed within the last couple of hours and I'm just putting it together for you guys. But as you guys can see, you know, I, from earlier, it was raining really, really hard. Um, things are flooded outside and everything after the rain and the whole thing lasted about an hour, okay, give or take, maybe less. All right, I figured a few things I could talk about just to give you a few prices and a few things out there for anyone uh, that's curious, okay? So look, this is a bag of potato chips. I don't know what a big bag of potato chips over there is, is worth anymore, but this cost me in dollars a dollar, a dollar 25, okay? For a bag that has 170 grams. It's a big bag, okay? This big bag of uh, these chips is $2, two US dollars. All right, um, a bottle of whiskey. This is some, oh no, this is not whiskey, I forgot. This is a uh, Flor de Caña, so it's just some uh, some rum. This cost me, I wanna say $10, 10 to $15. And this is some really good rum, 10 to $15, okay? Um, damn, nothing, nothing. I'm gonna go to the store. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else in here. Eggs cost a dollar hummus cost two dollars um, coca-cola 50 cents 50 cents you know the big one the big one is 50 cents the small baby one is like 40 cents 35 cents um, what else what else um, this costs like 75 cents a dollar for this whole bag of sugar five dollars for all this coffee it's a lot of coffee all right 400 grams all right for so that's like like a, over a pound right or almost a pound um for five bucks it's like the best coffee okay i'm a coffee snob and that's like the best um, and then this is it. This is, oh yeah, so let me give you a tour of the rest of the house. So then this is my um, my kitchen. Got a microwave. So a lot of things that I do in order to save energy is that I unplug everything. So I got a washer outside for washing clothes. I keep that unplugged. I unplug this. I unplug everything and I only use what I'm using. You know, like I don't, I don't I'm not like in the States where in the States we use a lot of energy. Therefore we spend a lot of energy and everything costs more. So here, um, it's just more modest because, I don't know, it's just more of a minimalistic life. Um, but yeah, this is my setup here. I'm sure you guys have already seen, you know, my fucking cable, everything, just the situation out here. All right, for our smokers out there, blunts. By the way, I finally found some blunts that are, you know, just like the ones from back home. Really, really good quality stuff. A dollar, dollar twenty-five for five. Okay. Uh, oregano. That goes with that is um how much is it let me see how much it is hold on let me give you the price real quick uh, ninety bones ninety bucks okay so like around ninety bucks ninety for and for four ounces of oregano that's not bad that's not bad all right it's now it's swag oregano but it's pretty good you know what I mean? It's not bad. It's fucking great, you know? I mean, you can get the other stuff for 25 for a half ounce. You know, I think it's like 25 US dollars for a half ounce of uh, of really good sweat, of really good uh, oregano, of really good oregano. Like the back in the States oregano, hydroponic oregano. Speaking of oregano, I got an oregano tree out there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right in my backyard in the rain. 
Now, let me see. I think I can take you guys out for a minute. I think it's just, no, no, yeah, I think it's still, yeah, it's still raining. See, that's my backyard, all right? I'll show you guys in a minute, as soon as it stops raining, the rest of the, the house, all right? Hope you guys are enjoying the tour so far. I know I am. All right, guys, so yeah, this is my downstairs. I'm sure you guys have already seen my downstairs a plenty of times, a million times. It's nice and spacious. Again, it's pretty dirty, but this is it right here. And, um, you know, that's where I keep my camera right here that I film the nice episodes with. I was debating on whether to use this camera or that camera, but I decided to use this camera so that I can shoot in 4K and things will be better. Hopefully you guys can see it's dark because it's dark and gloomy. I don't have the usual sunlight that I do and these light bulbs already expired and I need to get new ones. And anyways, there's Lambo. He says hi. <laughs> um, and that's it. This is the, the studio, guys. You know, this is where I work, where I do my things. And um, yeah, here's the sink that I use. Look at that. Pretty awesome. There's a microwave, there's your potatoes. It's a really, 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 really dirty uh, kitchen stove from, from with gas. All right, all right. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes, the oven works. This is where I keep my dishes. Um, and uh, oh yeah, the water. Let's talk about the water for a sec. So again, here the water. You know, there's literally a guy that comes for me. Um, he comes every Monday and every Thursday. So by the way, that's when I have the live. Uh, that's when I go live. Also, I go live on Twitch, BitTube, and DLive every thir Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But anyways, the water guy also happens to come on Mondays and Thursdays. And um, yeah, don't forget to give a like and a subscribe and all that good shit, too. Um, he comes by, and these things cost 31 pesos. So that's 31 pesos is $1.55, all right, give or take. So $1.50, all right, for a big jug of water, too and they bring them to your door. So every Monday and Thursday, you know, he just comes up to my gate and he's like, hey, Jose, how's it going? You need any water? And I tell him, yeah, let me bring one or bring two or don't bring any and that's it. And then he brings it for free and that's it. And then what I do, because I'm a good American, you know, <laughs> I tip him, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good expat, whatever, I tip him and that's it. So that's what I do, so yeah. And that's it. So, you know, again, one of these things costs you, between, you know, brought to your door. Literally, he brings it all the way over here, all the way in. He asks permission before he can come in and everything. Real nice, real fucking cool. And it only costs me, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty brought to my door. And in case he's not around because for whatever reason, I can just go to the old lady next door, which is a house next door. And she has a little shop out of her own house. And I can just get it from her as well. As long, you know, I can also get like Coca-Cola and potato chips and, and sweets or whatever the fuck else she's selling there. But yeah. So, all right. Um, let's go outside and give you a tour. It stopped raining already. So I'm going to put this thing over the camera. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the microphone, but it's still raining a little bit. And I don't want to mess it up. And I have a, like a different kind of housing for the camera. So I'm sorry. But I hope I'm holding it weird. So hopefully it doesn't come out like I'm holding it weird. Okay. So this is my backyard, guys. Oh my god, I'm getting stepping in puddles. Great guy. All right, so here, let me just show you. See, and that's where my neighbors live. You see those houses over there, but I barely even see them. So this is this is the washer right here. So right here, okay. All right, nice, fucking awesome washer. Look, I need no Samsung made washers, but they do, um, and it's in Spanish another cool thing and then there's the water heater this is why the water takes such a short time to fucking heat up it's there and then there's that if i need it and then yeah so there's the washer i wash my clothes and then i hang it there i'm sure you guys have seen my instagram stories you guys have seen uh where i hang my clothes and stuff so all right let's take a look this is my backyard out here guys you see beautiful thing huh and yeah, it's the rainy season, so that's why it's wet out here. So this is where I hang my clothes. There's no one living out here right now, but it could be you. It could be you, all right? Look, and so those are the water tanks up there. Speaking of which, so I gotta refill the water tank. So this is how I get water to my house. So the reason that I always have hot water when it's hot is because you see those hot, you see those water tanks up there? 
those water tanks up there, you know, they're obviously right in the sun's direction and they heat up and as they heat up it heats up the water sometimes it's hot, so hot that it, it could hurt you yeah it's not never that hot but it's pretty hot and so that's what happens you know like it just heats up and then gravity is what brings the water all the way down through the fucking house and you don't need to you know have electricity do that for you hence costs even less for electricity but that's the water system pretty much everywhere free bird poop he's pooping in the water no he's not he's not but anyways, but that's the water situation. And so, in order for me to fill that shit up, I come over here, and I fill it. And then I think this comes from, like, the ground or something. It's like a water pump that pumps the water from the ground. And that's what we got. And as you see, you hear that pump now? And it goes all the way up there. It's like, it goes all the way through the roof, and bum, bum, bum. And that's it. And that's the water for the house, for everything. And then... That's it. I gotta, I gotta cut this short. It's starting to rain again. But then there's the backyard. It's a huge fucking yard. If I can throw parties out here, I can do whatever the fuck I want out here if I want. I got security cameras everywhere, like a fucking boss. Well, I, you know, I love this place. Um, but yeah, man, I'm telling you, man, this is really friendly for everyone out here. Um, you know, I mean, it's not just safe, but what I'm saying is very expat friendly. You know. You can find a place that's going to fit your needs, you know, no matter what. You know, even my paranoid ass, you know. I got... Um, but then this is my backyard. This is a lime tree. This is a tree of... I don't know what the fuck these things are. By the way, you remember when I was doing my episode out here? And, um, and these things... This is what was falling, by the way. It was these things that were falling. I don't know what the fuck these things are. All right, it's starting to rain. I got to go. Um, but we made... Me and my girlfriend made some jam out of it. We could, this is the barbecue I'm going to use right here and this is my backyard i can do all kinds of shit out here if i want this is the orange sour orange trees which sour oranges are a major flavoring thing out here um and then that's it i thought this was guava but it wasn't it was just this weird fruit and then there's another weird fruit here which i don't know what the fuck it is my girlfriend doesn't even know what it is either but oh look oh man you just missed it i wish i would have like seen it but look this is the other weird fruit i don't know what the hell this is so yeah i mean this is life out here. It's fucking awesome. And this is huge, you know. And then, by the way, you can park your car out here if you want. You know, if you have an automobile, you can park it here, park it on the street. You know, most places have huge yards, huge everything. You know, so, you know, I got my neighbors over there. You see how my neighbors are separated by the wall? This is my other neighbors. My other neighbors by a wall. So these guys have a really nice house. Because I've seen it with the drone. If you haven't, uh, check out my drone footage and you'll be able to see it too. Um, but yeah, they got a pool. They got all the modern stuff in that house. You get what I'm saying? And they're Mexican. You know, they're just, you know, it's, they can afford it, whatever. Um, and that's it. I mean, you know, there's my backyard out here. I mean, I'm sure maybe you've seen it sometimes before I've been out here. And uh, it's really cool, really awesome. You know, sometimes, look, me and my girl, we just hang out here. You know, checking out the stars, smoking, drinking, having a great old time, um, enjoying life, and all kinds of shit. So that's it, guys. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the next chapter. So yeah, guys. I mean, this is kind of like where I sit and work. This is my fucking work area, my mess. Um, this is where I have my coffee when I'm on the internet. You know, either editing stuff or. Um, looking for information on videos or you know again editing client clients videos not just my own videos and uh, so on and so forth so I mean this is where I spend the good majority of my day I, I, I like to turn you feel me like I like to sit this way here you know so that way I'm always looking out in the street and it's really cool view it's awesome I get to see all kinds of cool things and uh, yeah it's uh, really cool and um, it's awesome and then this is my kitchen back here you know you guys already know but this is awesome, you know? So like, this is my own personal little piece of heaven. What more do I want? And I don't know what you guys' uh, lives entail per se, or what you guys want out of life, or what you guys are looking for. But you know, for me, everything I have here is beyond more than enough. And I feel so happy and so grateful that I, I get to have this place. Now, you know, one thing I forgot to mention was the price I pay here. I pay, yeah, sorry, I had to correct myself before I checked myself. So yeah, actually what I pay is uh, 200 bucks a month. And then with light bill, again, around 225, 250 bucks a, a month. I mean, you know, that's it. I mean, but basically it's really more like 225 a month. That's really what I spend tops for rent and everything included. I'm talking about, you know, light, 
internet. I got really fast internet again. I feel like I have faster internet here than I had in the States in most places. Um, and I got everything I really want. I mean, I don't know what else uh, you want. I got, it's gas, you know, so it's a gas stove. Um, and it's just great. So that's what I really pay, 200 to 225 a month. And then, um, you know, the, the, the electricity comes once um, every two months. And then they have like a, like the, the whole light differs, you know what I mean? Like there's a whole thing about the light bill, but um, at the end of the day, um, it's not too complicated, all right? It's really pretty easy. And um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's really what I, what I end up paying. Now, you know, you guys might end up in a different situation, meaning you guys might be looking for something completely different. You know, you might not be looking what I'm looking for. You know, you're not looking for a rental that's fully furnished, you know, um, where I live. It's kind of like an apartment complex, but not quite because, you know, most houses here are next to each other anyway. So the point is, is that like this piece of property where I live, per se, you know, particularly, there's other people that live on this property too, but they're far away, like in their own home. In fact, I feel like I have, more, I have I'm, I'm separated more from my actual neighbor and my son, the same property than I am from this other neighbor that's separated by a wall. You know what I mean? This, I have, my other neighbor's like right there. Well, my neighbor, from the same landlord is like a little further away and same as all the other people that share this backyard which again i'm the only one that ever really comes out here for the most part and um yeah you know and that's where i hang my laundry and all that good stuff which i'm gonna give you a tour as soon as uh it stops raining but yeah you know it's pretty pretty chill you know it's a nice nice life out here i get to work hard work 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 and be obsessed with my work and not feel so bad about it out here because here i can afford to live now you know when it comes to like other expenses you know in a month again you know there are other expenses you know you are gonna need ubers you are gonna need you know to pay for you know again you know like oregano you're gonna need to pay for um, all kinds of things you know food mainly food is like the main thing um, and then you know by, by the time you get to all your expenses you're probably spending like around a thousand to two to a thousand two hundred and maybe even less because I, I spend less, you know what I mean? I spend on what I can get and sometimes all I can get is like around 800 bucks a month, you know, or less. And I got to make it happen. So, you know, that goes to shout out to everyone out there that, you know, is trying to make it happen as well and think that they can't come out here and, you know, they're trying to figure out the budget. You know, uh, yeah, you can do it. Now, again, when you first come out here, don't just come out here with 800 bucks. You got to come out here with a few grand. I came out here with uh, around, honestly, like I always say, 1,500, but... Once I got here, I got a few donations from a few YouTube, you know, from a few people on YouTube that helped me out. You know what I mean? A few of you guys, a few, um, and, and yeah, so I was able to get like around 2000. So really I came out here with 2000 us dollars and that was scraping by, but I made it, I was able to make it. And that's including all the mistakes that you make when you're first out here spending more money than what you need to spend. So yeah you know guys um again i make these videos as instructional videos for anyone that wants to know more about these situations and um and i hope you find them in you know enlightenment or whatever you know hope you find them uh worth something i think you do because uh you know that's why i keep making them because you guys enjoy them so all right guys um i hope you enjoyed the whole tour of the house you now by the time you finish watching this by the time you're watching this sorry about that noise by the time you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you've already seen the full tour of the whole house, seen the backyard, seen everything, and I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, please, you know, if you did, check out my other videos, you know, my adventures in Medina, uh, my adventures are out here talking about living costs and talking about all kinds of other things. And, uh, and please, please, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, um, check out the Discord, you know, there's a community down there of uh, all kinds of people talking about all kinds of things. Um, and check out the rest of my channel. I got all kinds of awesome content. And uh, yeah, just thank you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to everyone out there. You guys are all amazing. I love you. You guys are the best. And uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I got to go walk my horse. It stopped raining again. So you already know, Lambo's already getting restless over there. And I'll leave it with him, okay? Look at that. <laughs> again it's another plus you get your own own horse out here all right you actually get your own horse well now you know whether he's real and you can ride him that's another story but you also get your own horse later guys bye thanks for watching <laughs>